seatbelt on. What's going on, solid steppers? I'm on my way to uh, trying to get some organization done, get the truck better organized, inventory control, get my returns in order. That's what I'm doing this morning. I got some jobs later today. I hope everybody's enjoying this beautiful Father's Day weekend. I hope you guys are really taking time off to enjoy what's really important, which is your family, you know, and all those blessings you have and the reason, the driving force behind the reason why we do what we do. And I just want to say happy Father's Day to all uh, my appliance uh, repair brothers out there and business owners. So today, this is what my structure looks like. I am uh, have some appointments later on today. This morning, I am going to pick up one of my parts vehicles, vehicles I use to have uh, my employees pick up parts, either replace a tire and a rim on that one. Um, and then I'm going to I'm going to pick up some more shelving and things for the truck to better organize that. I really want to lay the hell down. That's what I want to do. But the reality is, when you're a business owner, you really need to have your stuff in order and maintain that and implement systems and tweak them whenever you can. That's one of my goals. The other goal today is going to do with my courses and consulting portion of my business along with the call center I'm developing. Um, the key to anything in life is one thing about appliance repair you gotta you have to be careful with is that you know a lot of people say they want a business but a lot of times you end up creating a job so that job needs to be able to create other businesses that you don't necessarily have to be present um, to run consistently you know that's the purpose for the call center the courses and things of that nature now all of us are out here in the field and gathering an immense amount of knowledge. The key is how do you put all that knowledge in one place and make it accessible to everybody, but also something that it constantly is applicable no matter what the year, the date, or the time. People always need to know how to start and structure a business. People need to always know, know how to develop the proper business credit so they have a foundation and clean up their own if they're gonna do it the right way. You know, you got a lot of guys riding around doing cash and carry, and that's cute. But when you're dealing with SBA and other opportunities, you really need that structure in place. When you're dealing with taxes, you want to get the maximum back. So, you know, those may not be exciting subjects, but in order to be a real business owner, you need to make sure those things are in place. And if you don't understand them, you need to go to audible.com download you some books and start listening even get you a little inexpensive Udemy course which is those are always on sale but you need to be in control of your own destiny there's never an excuse to say I didn't know not in this day and age where information is at your Google fingertips you know when you can Google it and get it then realize you're the problem you know and that's the thing with me. You know, I got up this morning, there were some things I got to deal with that I really don't want to deal with. They really don't have anything to do with me. And I realize it just kills me how people want me to pay, want to pay me to do stuff that they need to do for themselves. So, you know, grudgingly, I'm going to get this in order and then I'm going to just take the paper. Because at this point, it's like I keep telling this person, here, I'm giving this information to you. You need to handle it. And they won't. So it is what it is. But he's going to pay a pretty penny. Trust me. My time is too valuable and it's getting less and less. So, like I said, you know, we all talk about work-life balance. But I'm a firm believer like Grant Cardone in the 10x rule. You got to 10x things in your life and you need to 10x the things that are going to bring you the most profit and the, mo the best results. And that's where I'm at. Um, so I'm on my way to the hardware store. Um... To pick up some things and get organized because I cannot work in chaos. <sighs> but guess what? It's going to be another course and another video about how to organize your truck, how to structure your inventory, how to put systems in place. I mean, it irritates me that I have to do it, but at the same time, I'm going to use it at an advantage.
Of course, a client will be calling me while I'm in the middle of doing this. I'm going to call them back. I just want to make sure that I am consistent. Just like someone said to me about how consistent I am on YouTube. How do I find the time? I make the time because at the end of the day, I'm riding in the truck. Why can't I have a conversation? You know? So if y'all, if I feel a little, if I sound a little irritated, it's nothing personal. I'm just, I'm tired and I am really a little upset with myself because I feel like I need to be better and I need to be more streamlined and I'm allowing the fray to bother me. So, like I said, Miss Ward is like everybody else. I am constantly a work in progress. And I need you guys to understand that that is how you become great. Because everybody else around you is mediocre and substandard. Just own it. You're not going to get people to step up. It either is in them or not, you know? telling you what I know. Now, if you want to be a cheerleader and all that good stuff, go ahead. But that is exhausting in itself. I need to cheerlead my dang self. So, inventory control, making sure all my returns are in order, invoices updating that I am cataloging everything that's in place. So, with that said, I'm actually going to shorten this one a little bit long, a little quicker than other ones, than my other videos. I'm just going to kind of catalog in my brain. Is there anything else I need to, well, yeah, staying motivated. Um, when you are a business owner, you are lonely. And the reason you're lonely because you have to push you. In the days you don't like to me, I really want to get back in bed. But I'm making myself do checklists because I got to get stuff done. It's not like it's going to get done by itself. So I'll listen to a little uh, Lisa Collins. She's good. Um, there's a lot of people you can listen to that are great inspirational people on YouTube. And they will just drop kick you real quick, you know. And that's what I mean about having your morning meditations, putting things in place to enhance who you are. Staying away from the um, energy drainers. And having your priorities in order. Because at the end of the day, when it hits 4 or 5, you should have a profitable day. The goal is to have a profitable day at 12 o'clock in my life. Simply because I'm a planner and I like to get stuff done. Now that customer just called me. I'm sure that that is a profitable repair. Actually, I already know in my head that it is. So, I'm just uh, going to see if I have access to the motor she needs for that unit. And be prepared. That's all I can do. I can't get mad about success. I can't get mad about customers wanting me to come out and repair their appliances, particularly when they live in great homes that are nice, clean, and sanitary, and the space that I'm gonna be working in is nice and liberal, and I don't have any issues. Oh, I love that. So, I'm all for that, because I don't do unsanitary. All these guys with these roaches and stuff like this, uh-uh. I'm not able to do it. Uh -uh. And you shouldn't be doing it either. If people can't keep their house clean, they can't pay me. That's all right. I am not a maid. So, anyway, somebody posted in Facebook, no matter how long they do uh, appliance repair, they'll never get used to seeing roaches. I mean, it was a trip. I was doing a um, dishwasher, and it was a trip because <laughs> this is what's funny. The notorious Samsung. So I'm replacing the, um, I replaced the temp sensor. And you know how the water sensor works, the water leak detection sensor works. It has four little prongs on the bottom of it. And any type of water that gets down in that little pocket, once the water hits those prongs and complete the connection, then it, the, it shuts it down so that the, the um, machine doesn't flood the floor or cause an issue for the customer. So here I am taking it apart, laying it on its side, take the bottom cover off, pull off the sensor, and what the hell is in the middle of the sensor, y'all? No signs anywhere. A, a roach was in the middle of the sensor, like where the four prongs were, he was just sitting there on his belly like he got electrocuted to death. You know, I'm like, what is really going on? So I pulled it apart, took a picture, showed it to the customer. She was embarrassed, but I was like, honey, this ain't nothing. I ain't seen nothing else floating in this house. You good to go. But what I'm saying is, a lot of times people don't go through, they don't tear the machine down. There comes to a point where you got to go in. 
you know i try to diagnose as much as i can without tearing a machine down because that's why we have appliantology this is why we have the samurai repairman because diagnostics electrical schematics understanding processes understanding how these machines work will put you so far ahead of the game but at the end of the day you got to be technical enough and be willing to you know don't catch an attitude tear the machine down and most of these machines are made in such a way you can have them tore down 10 15 minutes boom done if that just know what you're doing and have some structure and discipline in place it's really not that hard but anyway what i'm trying to say to everybody you got to motivate yourself and you got to hold yourself accountable today i am truly tired but i'm out here i'm not smiling joking and i'm i got pure attitude but you know what I could be in that bed laying on my back. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to get off this live, y'all. I'm sorry. But the duty calls is uh one of my employees working my last nerve. So, like I said, I'm not feeling it today. I'm not solving their problems today. They better grow up. You know, you give somebody a task, they got to handle it. And then you find out how valuable people are to you. Are they really valuable or are they wasting your time and your money? So with that said, y'all, I'm going to holler at you. Have a great day.